Hello everyone, I think it's good afternoon right now in Dubai and I believe in UK it's around 1 p.m. as well. So my name is Eddie Ignatius, I'm from Time Hotels in Dubai and I'm here right now going to share with you a few steps or tips I would say on how to do the recovery in our business during the reopening stage post the COVID-19. As you know that for the past I think three to four months we have been struggling so much in our business. Everything turns upside and down and you know hospitality and hotel has been affected so much. And I think it is a time for us that regardless whether you are an expert, I am an expert, or we are just colleagues within the same industry, it is the time for us to share what we know, what we can do to help our industry to become stronger and to get back to a better stage than before. So in the next 15 minutes, I would like to share with you six steps on how we potentially can do a better in our business in terms of reopening the hotel sectors as I'm from the hotel background so maybe what I'm going to deliver in the next 15 to 20 minutes not relevant to some of you it might be a new things to some of you who are not coming from the hotel business and maybe it's not a new thing but it can be a, a refresher to, to, to some of you who are uh, in these uh, forums. For the last two, three months, we've been so stressed, we're all so depressed. Um, we always thinking that what is going to happen next. We keep on asking a question to ourselves that where are we heading? Where are businesses going to end? I think it is a time for all of us as a hospitality industry, especially in the hotel business, we need to stay positive. We need to start asking a different question to ourselves instead of asking what is going to happen next because it sounds so depressing. I think we need to, uh, to really stress on the positive things that we can potentially ask what can we do differently to make things better, right? So this is the time where I would like to share with, with everybody in this forum on how we do the reopening of our business step by step of course, this is not a magic stick that I can just give it to you and you can have your business back to normal and eventually better than before, definitely not. But this is, uh, I would say, it's a generic uh, step, but it's very important that we do it right. So the first one is actually, we as a hotel industry, we have to make sure that we have the right protocol in place. What do I mean by having the right protocol in place? Of course, that every hotel where you are located, your government have uh, regulations on what you have to do in terms of uh, health and safety, sanitation and hygiene protocol has to be in place. We as a hotel, we are not expert in, in hygiene and sanitization. So obviously you need to have uh, a support, support from the expert support from the, you may say, uh, uh, auditing body or support from the another organization who can support you to make your initiative uh, done properly. Then, once you have the right support, you have to make sure that the whole team in your business have a full commitment. Because if you just have the uh, very good initiative from the corporate level but then the rest of the team they do not have the same commitment like what we have in the corporate level then everything is not going to the right direction so here is that you have a corporate initiative corporate protocol in line with what is happening right now to reopen your business so then you have to pass it down to the general manager then it is the general manager role and responsibility to make sure that everybody within their hotel understand the concept speaking the same language understand the role and the responsibility of each of the member of the team in the hotel every department should play their own role to make sure that your protocol is is happening it is very important as well that actually it's a lot more important what actually you are doing in the ground level rather than the only message that you, you send to the customer that yes, we are ready to welcome you, we are sanitized and ready, we are safe, we are guaranteeing that your stay will be safe and, and peaceful. But then the reality, it has to be the same. So you have to deliver the same reality 
like what you deliver the message to the market or to the, to the client. So here is uh, what I mean by having the right protocol. And then once you have the full commitment from top to down, you have to make sure that you need to follow up whether it is being done consistently or whether it is just being done at the beginning of the initiative where this is the common thing that's to happen when new things happen everybody is excited everybody is doing their best to make sure that yes i show that i i do my things and after that things are skipped and slept uh, so follow up here is another key to make sure that your initiative is as continue and is um, is uh, st sustainable Right after that, it's another important thing is that you have to do the self-assessment. Do your own audit, do your own homework to make sure that whether, well, sometimes you just need to, to stay in your hotel, experience, experience yourself like you are the guest. Because if you don't experience the whole thing, then you will not be able to understand whether the things are in the right place from the beginning till the end of your program that you are trying to initiate or to promote your, to your client. So that is the first step, which is very, very, very important. Why I stress so much on this? Because everybody now is very concerned about health and safety, being sanitized, being, being hygienic. Of course, this is, should be from the beginning, but with what uh, happening recently, this is becoming the new, uh, the new requirement for all of us. So I think that is very clear that having the right protocol in place is the foundations of reopening the business especially in the hotel industry where you have so many different clients different type of guests different type of expectation behavior from each one guest to another one is completely different so i think that we have to to make sure that this is a crystal clear to all our team members and make sure that they don't do otherwise what we have agreed it has to be done it has to be done properly so moving forward to number two well, the second step is actually you need to review your financial situations or your expenses, I would say. When we speak about the expenses, what comes first to our mind is always the cost. Okay, how can we reduce the cost? And then the first thing, okay, the manpower, you know, the manning, cut down this uh, position, remove this and that. Well, that is sometimes is unavoidable. Sometimes that is really has to be done. But I think there is a lot more that we can be done rather than uh, cutting here and there. I think that we need to really study on how we multi-skill our team members. We can review also the annual leave, whoever is still having the balance, you clear them. We offer them if there is no really business uh, in place, maybe we still can offer them who would like to take more leave, even the unpaid leave. Some of them might be been away from the family for quite some time and they would love to take longer holidays to go back to their home countries. And as well as we can uh, review non-essential uh, expenses. We also need to make sure that we speak to our business partners or usually we call them a vendors or suppliers but I prefer to call them as a business partner because they are a partner in business. We need to speak to them. Can they be flexible in their payment term? Can they review their payment uh, method? Is there anything that we can uh, stop for the time being to not use? Is there any services that we can leave temporarily during this reopening phase until we know what is going to happen uh, in, in the next couple of months with our business until we know whether things are going to the right directions or will remain the same. So that is the, the section number two to review your financial uh, situations or financial uh, expenses. And then the third one is that we need to review our revenue management strategy. It is very important because there is a limit where we can no longer cut the cost we need to bring the money in because cutting the cost there is no money coming in it's going to be very difficult so there is no balance here so review the re revenue management uh, structure or the um, or the strategy we need to sit down not only with the revenue manager when we're talking about the revenue what comes to our mind is always okay that is the role of the revenue manager we have to have the same understanding the whole uh, stakeholders in the whole hotel or in the whole company have to understand that everybody is responsible for the revenue within the 
business, especially in the hotel I'm talking about from the hotel perspective. So the revenue manager have their own role to play when it comes to the distributions, uh, online uh, uh, travel agency, managing the rates, inventories, where to put, what to sell, at what rate, at to which customer, in which time. General manager have also their own roles to play when it comes to the revenue and also uh, any other department, also they have uh, their own role to play in terms of the revenue generations. Not all of them will be able to generate revenue directly, but as we all believe that everybody working in the hotel is basically a salesperson. Right, we have um, talked about the first step, the second step, and the third step. The first one would, was um, have the protocol in place. Then the second one was to review your financial situation. Then have your revenue uh, strategy reviewed as well, sitting down with all your uh, team members. And then the fourth one is communication. It's very, very important that we communicate transparently to all our stakeholders, including our guests. We have to make sure that everything is uh, communicated properly to our potential guests. We need to update our website all the contents, um, including the online travel agencies. As you know that we, with all this happening uh, pandemic, there are a lot of requirements that have been added into their, uh, into their, um, the OTA platform. So it is very important to make sure that you are not uh, being left uh, with the old content, you have to make sure that you update your content to be relevant at all time. Uh, Maybe to some of you who have not uh, started with the FAQ, it is the right time maybe for you to start uh, drafting and develop a frequently asked questions that you can post it on your website so that your customer uh, can get an update on what is happening in your hotel, how you do your uh, reopening uh, business in your hotel, how safe is your hotel and what are you doing with the protocol because Today, uh, there must be a lot of questions in their mind before they started to come to your hotel. Is this hotel safe? Is this hotel clean? How frequent do you uh, disinfect and or sanitize your, for example, the, the elevator buttons or the door handles? Uh, and uh, how long do you keep the rooms from the previous guests to the new guests. So there are a lot of questions that the guests potentially will ask you. So I think it is the right time for you also to develop frequently asked questions then you can put it in your, uh, in your, in your website or in any other platform that you think is, uh, is necessary. And uh, in addition to that also Google uh, ad campaign can be very effective if you do it properly or if properly manage. Um, I think it is really important for now to focus uh, on a set audience uh, to maximize your uh, return on investment and uh, next step is actually to find the new guest. Finding the new guest is also another challenging part at the moment but it's not, uh, it's not impossible. Uh, if we all are thinking together, we all are thinking like, like the, we all are salesperson, so we have to to make sure that we get um, we get a replacement of of the old type of business that we used to have, because the traveling is not like before. Nowadays, travel is only happen if you must or if they must travel. It's not anymore that you know what tomorrow I will have a meeting in so and so place and I have to book the ticket right now and then let's see where hotel I potentially can stay but nowadays everything can be done not everything but a lot of things can be done virtually meeting can be done virtually uh, conferences can be done virtually like what we're doing right now so the the number of traveling it will be reduced so much so here is that what hotelier can focus more on a local customers or local guests. So we need to make sure that we give the right message to the local community that we are part of them. We are part of the community where we are doing our business. So they are our partner and we are their partner too. We make sure that we care for them. We give, uh, can be we give uh, special packages to, to the local community. We develop uh, an attractive vacation for them. We develop a lot of different uh, different packages that would attract them to come and stay in the hotel. And I think that if we really uh, 
creative enough to create a package that in a way it is attractive for for the local customer or local guest it will work because people will still think twice to travel although that the restriction or the border have been open but still there are numbers of procedure that they need to do before they travel and I think that not everybody is ready to do the whole uh, procedure before they're traveling and last but not least and I believe this is very 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 important as a hotelier that although many things can be done virtually everything can be done uh, electronically as we say and everybody, I, I remember last month, one of my colleagues in the industry was saying that the IT will be the king in the future business. Well, I agree and I disagree to some point. We as a host, hotelier, as hospitality professional, should not forget that service is, should be delivered genuinely from the heart whether it is just a genuine smile, a warm welcome, simply opening the door, hold the elevator door for a guest, these things can never be replaced virtually. So we as a hotelier should never forget that our strength is in the service delivery. Our strength is in the, um, in the, in the genuine service delivered straight from the heart so that the guests feel the difference. Yes, I come to this hotel because of the service, but of course, yes, there are so many different factors that they will have to consider before staying in the hotel. But again, hospitality, we should not forget that service is the most important things in our business. Well, thank you very much, everyone. That was all from my side, and I hope that what I share can be beneficial to all of us in the hotel industry as hoteliers. I know we are all together in this situation. You're not alone. I'm not alone. Everybody is having the same uh, situation. And only if we stand together, we are stronger. So finally, thank you very much, and I wish you a successful um, day. And if you have any question, you can always write in the chat room, and I would uh, do my best to give you the answer as much as I can. All right, thank you very much, and have a wonderful afternoon. Take care and stay safe. Thank you.